Congratulations, guys. You are the NBA champions. <laughs> Highest level. And now, the 2000 NBA champions, Golden State Warriors. such a loyal fan base and what you just watched were three clips from the 2017 2018 and 2019 championship celebrations these clips had two completely different teams but what you didn't notice is that this player right here appeared in all three clips that's exactly right this player won a championship in 2017 2018 and 2019 and his name is patrick mccall ladies and gentlemen this is the three-peat that nobody ever talks about after blowing a 3-1 lead in the 2016 finals, the Warriors dynasty was in jeopardy. The Warriors knew that they would have to make some off-season moves to keep the dynasty alive. So they got to work and quickly made two moves. What they didn't know is that one of these moves would be one of the greatest off-season moves of all time. And the other, well, signing Kevin Durant. The Warriors would cruise through the regular season, and it seemed like every time McCaw scored, the Warriors would be up a million points. Or down a million points. But that's not the point. Shortly after you knew it, the Warriors would be back in the NBA Finals, where they would best the defending champions in five games, led by, of course, Patrick McCaw's stellar offense. Curry. Nice pass to McCaw. McCaw misses. McCaw gets it back and lays it up and in. Kept alive by Draymond Green. LeBron James has got to come up with that defensive rebound. And a foul by J.R. Smith. Nearly poked away. Shot clock down to eight. Now the double team. Inside the McCaw. McCaw inside. Off the glass. The rookie again. Back to back buckets. That was a difficult finish. Let's learn more about Patrick McCaw. <laughs> The next year, the Warriors would face off the Cavaliers again, and this time they would beat them in four, going back to back in Patrick McCaw's first two seasons. But this is where things take a twist. After the second ring, McCaw wanted a bigger role, one where he was more involved offensively. And in late December of 2018, McCaw would sign with the Cavaliers on a two-year deal. It wasn't long after, in fact, it was actually a week and a half later, that McCaw would get waived and sign with the Toronto Raptors on a minimum deal. What the Raptors didn't know is that they would get the key to the Warriors' success over the past two years. Man, imagine if the Cavaliers had kept him. The Raptors and Warriors would face off in the finals, and Patrick McCall would get his revenge as the Raptors beat the Warriors in six games, marking his third championship in a row. McCall would re-sign with Toronto, but sadly, in the beginning of the 2020 season, he would have knee surgery and miss most of that season. Then, in 2021, the Raptors would waive him, and that basically put his NBA career on pause. But back to the three-peat. This is a feat that only some legends like Bill Russell and MJ and Kobe and Shaq managed to do. However, even though they won three rings in a row, none of them ever three-peated in their first three seasons in the NBA. He won three rings in his first five years. I'm surprised McCaw's name hasn't been thrown around in the GOAT convo. Wait a second. There might be somebody who has Patrick McCaw as their GOAT. No, because I, I actually don't uh, think LeBron is, you know, the go to basketball. I think my go to basketball is Patrick McCaw. You know, I always grew up watching him, so it's never just LeBron. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.